Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to another episode of tryhackme.com. Let me exit split. So today we're gonna do authentication bypass. So last episode we did a uh, subdomain enumeration, still part of the web fundamentals path. So I will reset it, start the machine, and let me show split view. So. As always guys, uh, please read uh, all the tasks to get basic fundamental understanding what this is all about. So today we're learning about how to defeat logins and other authentication mechanisms to allow you access to unpermitted areas. So it's basic hacking. So task one, brief. You just need to start the machine, complete. Then task two, user enumeration. And it talks about what's the username start with SI, username start with username starting with RO. So as you read through this task, it talks about how to break into this customer sign up. So first thing you do is open the terminal. And first thing it does have this command, it breaks it down for you with this dash W dash X D it might look foreign to you right now, but as you get more practice, you get, you will get comfortable. So first just copy and paste the clipboard, this command and just paste this. So it's a W directory, username, fuzz, email, password, password, H dash H is content type, then links to the website customer sign in user name or you logged in so so since i'm using attack box it's already the ffuf tool and the word that's already come pre-installed if you have your own uh, linux you will have to create a, a new text so the answer question is below, what are the username? As it runs through, as you can see, there's three username, Robert, Simon, and Steve. So SI, Simon, Steve, ST, Steve. And last one, RO is Robert. It's all right here. All right. Let's go task three, brute force. Uh, before doing task three, it says right here, the last sentence, create a file called valid usernames.txt and add the username you found using FUF. I'm just gonna call it fuff. This will be used in task three. So, to create a task file, nano, use nano, valid user names dot. All right. So you have Simon, Steve, Robert. Then control X, it says, do you want to save this? Y for yes. And then press enter for the file name. If you click root right here, the file exists right here. So, all right, task three, and it talks about brute force attack. And here's another command. You just need to copy and paste this for now. And it just talks about w directory and then username d h content type and u is url so fc is argument status code other than 200 all right copy and paste and there you go so the question answer your question below was the valid username and password format username and password so is steve thunder awesome then task four logic flaw so this is another way 
bypassing using logic flaw. So you can read through this to get understanding. So this is to reset the password, right? So this is practical. Let's copy and paste this. All right, let's open up Firefox. It's lagging, okay. Copy and paste, reset, and it says, let's use Robert at me IT support dot HTM. Check username, wait, account username, oops, hold on, let's see, account email, and Robert, there you go. So same thing, reset password. So this is the second stage, username. So we're going to use the crow process. Again, go terminal, clipboard, copy and paste. Uh, this looks like a web page. Then this is to redirect to attacker at hacker.com. Then copy and paste again. This is just following the task example. And then as you reduce us for next day, you need to create account. So let's create an account. Click on customer, sign up here. I'm just going to put PLA. Uh, attacker. Actually, I'm going to use PLA again at customer dot at me IT support at me IT support dot THM. And I'm just going to create my own password. So, save. Okay. So the last command, copy and paste again. Now, when you copy and paste this one, it says crow with your at me support account. You're gonna put PLA. This is the username, but switch the email. And let's see, it should work. Refresh this. There you go, password reset. And there's a ticket. And look, there's a link right here. Let's copy, let's highlight this. Open link in new tab. And support ticket. Click right here, bam. That's the answer, guys. So basically, you're redirecting a username with a new email address I just created with this task, which is logic flaw. Okay, last one, task five, cookie tampering. So this is about examining and edit cookies. So Again, follow the example, curl cookie test. See, clipboard, copy and paste. So not logged in. And then second step, curl 
copy and paste again. Given crow cookie, let's see cookie toss. Mm. Sorry, then copy and paste the whole thing. Let's try again. Copy and paste. Oops. Let's try again. Okay, never mind. I am not copying and pasting right, so. Let's try this again. Okay, login as user. And last one, copy and paste. So not login, login, then login as admin. There you go, guys. That's how you get this answer. Talks about hashing and encoding. So the question is, what's the flag from changing the plain text cookie values? You got that. And it says, what is the value at MD5 hash of this one? And it says, hint, crackstation.net will help. Let's open this. Copy and paste. Not a robot. Crack hash. And the value is 463729. Correct. Awesome. And then what's the base 64 decode value of the string? Hint base64decode.org. Oops. I should have. My bad. New tab. Let's close this out. And let's highlight this 64. Whenever you see it, like equal sign, usually it's a base 64. Not. So you just copy and paste and decode. And there you go. And last one, encode the following value using base 64. Parentheses ID admin true. Hit again, encode. You can use you can go to that website or just click encode right here. And copy and paste, encode. And that should be the answer. Alright guys, we just completed the authentication room you can share on twitter facebook and linkedin as I already share mine on linkedin for the accomplishment and if you like this video guys please give us a thumbs up subscribe button hit the notification button i'm trying to upload all the videos that i completed monday wednesday and friday or sometimes just monday and friday or wednesday and friday so uh, depending on how much time i have and i hope you find this video helpful guys um just as you know, I do not have IT experience. This is just something I like to do on my own free time. And I do have a subscription to tryhackme.com, which is about $90, $200 uh, for a yearly subscription. And also I am CompTI certified. I am uh, active and current on IFT+, A+, CYSA+, Network+, Pentest+, and Security+. I'll probably do these videos, uh, how, show you guys how I pass these uh, within one or two months. So it is a lot of studying. Anyway, guys, till the next video. Thanks for watching. Uh...